Well, hey friends, welcome to Sweetly Home. My name is Mandy. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. I am so excited about today's video. I feel like I say that a lot, but I'm usually generally very excited to share with you guys. Um, so I am part of a really cool collab today, and we are talking about all things pumpkin. In fact, we've entitled this collab Pumpkin Palooza. So in this collab, there are going to be lots of delicious recipes all focused around pumpkin. I mean, I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to go through all the videos and write down recipes and bring some of these ideas into my own home because this girl loves pumpkin. I want my own pumpkin patch. And yeah. So anyways, today I wanted to share with you a really easy, simple, and inexpensive dessert idea that you can make with a lot of ingredients that you just have on hand. It's delicious. My mom has been making this for years and years and years, and it's probably one of my favorite pumpkin desserts of all time. So if that sounds good to you, just keep watching. So before I got married, I filled out this notebook with all kinds of recipes that were uh, family traditions or passed down from my grandma down to my mom. Um, and so this recipe today that I'm going to make is called pumpkin pie dessert and it was my mom's recipe and as you can see the pages are well worn of this notebook. So you need some really simple ingredients including white cake mix. What you're going to want to do is set aside one cup of the white cake mix and we'll be using this later in the recipe. I'm using a half cup measure because my husband took my one cup measure to use for dog food. Um, and so I'm just dumping the rest of the cake mix inside of my KitchenAid stand mixer and I'm also adding in one egg. The entire recipe will be um, written out down below so you don't have to worry. All the exact measurements and the how-to will be down there. I'm also adding in half a cup of butter. And then you're just going to want to beat this together. I'm using my stand mixer. You can use an electric mixer if that's what you have on hand. Whatever will work. So you're just going to cream these items together and it smells so, so good. Next, you are going to want to lay the batter out into a 9 by 13 inch pan and you're just going to spread it thin. Okay, so we are going to work on the filling now. You're going to need a large can of pumpkin. Now this is not pumpkin pie filling, but just pure pumpkin. And you're going to put that into your mixing bowl or your stand mixer. Then you'll add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Then you're going to want to go ahead and add in your milk and also your salt. Next come the eggs. I like to crack them in a separate bowl and then dump them into my mixture. This helps ensure that if I happen to miss any shells, I can easily scoop them out. And then you're going to add in your vanilla and your brown sugar. And then mix these ingredients together well. Once everything is done whisking, you're going to want to pour your filling on top of your bottom layer of the dessert and then just smooth everything out evenly. So now let's go ahead and make the topping. So grab that bowl of the reserved cake mix, add half a cup of butter and then half a cup of brown sugar. Now using a fork or a pastry cutter, you're going to want to incorporate all these ingredients together until they are a crumbly sort of consistency. You might have to work with it a little bit. A pastry blender works the best, but a fork can do the trick too. And so for our final step, you are just going to want to sprinkle that topping all over the top of your pumpkin pie dessert. And let me tell you, this step smells so amazing. There's something about white cake mix, a bit of sugar, and some butter that just makes me go, 
Yay! <laughs>